with Julie. Wanted to get you a quick little video of Miss Maisie this morning. We are out on a walk, um, just just by my house. So a nice little walk through the neighborhood. Maybe you good. Just working on our healing and our crazy man walking. So um, <clears throat> we call it our crazy man walk because you can see I do a lot of these directional changes when she loses focus on me. So if I see her, she wants to go sniff something up in front of me. Um, if she wants to, you know, go off to the side, if she is not completely 100% engaged with me, I go away from her, I change directions, and I remind her that we're healing. Heal. Good girl. That's where I'll use a little bit of e-collar. Um, we've been doing a lot of conditioning to the e-collar. Good girl. To help her understand what it means, and that she has to come back to me when she feels it. Good. Good girl. Yep. Good. There we go. So really, we're just using it to, you know, help her aim. Um, figure out that that heel position is right next to me on my left and if I change directions if she just follows me if she's focused on me and paying attention and following me and staying in position then um, you know they, she doesn't need a reminder or anything she just gets to follow along right here with me Maisie sit good girl good job buddy and, and she's doing really awesome with it so <clears throat> so yeah nice and early nice cool morning Maisie down Good job. You've been working with her a lot on the sits and downs, I can tell. But she's doing really great with those. Um, we're working on building, with that healing, a lot of focus. Good job, buddy. So, um, if she's pulling ahead of you on walks, if she's um, dragging you over to, to meet people, or if she's getting nervous of stuff, like you said, she's a little bit um, lacking in the confidence. Um, when she's a little bit nervous about something, we use that healing and we fall back on obedience to help work her through that, to let her know, yeah, okay, I know you're a little bit nervous, but all you have to do is focus on this one thing that I'm asking you to do. Um, whether that's healing or sitting or holding it down um, or coming when called, we always, always, always want to fall back on that obedience and help her look down, understand, look down. Good girl, good. Help her understand that this is, uh, you have to continue doing the obedience. It's not, stu it's not just done when you want it to be done. Um, so like when she broke that down there, she's like, there's, there's some traffic going by. So there's some, some people walking too. So a little bit of a busy road. Um, but so being her a little bit nervous, just being by all these cars and noises and people moving and stuff. And so she wanted to get up from that down. And then I just reminded her with a couple quick little, you know, taps on the e-collar when I was saying down again that um, she just has to focus on the down. That's all she has to do. She can observe people going by, the guy that just went by on a bike. Um, she can observe the cars. Um, it's okay, she'll go through a little bit of stress having to hold that down, but that is okay. We want her to be able to go through that, and that's what's gonna build her confidence. She learns, oh, if I just hold this down, nothing bad happens. I don't have to worry about that stuff. I just have to pay attention to mom or whoever's holding the leash. Um, and when I get eye contact from her, okay, like right there, good girl, then we can go ahead and go back on our way into a heel. Good girl. Heel. Good. That's a girl. Very nice. I know you get a little tangled there. Good job, buddy. So anyway, she's doing really, really awesome. Her little nubbin is wagging when we're walking here. So she's doing really good. Maybe heel. Good. And I hope you guys aren't missing her too much. We're still at the very beginning stages of helping her focus and working her through some of this stress. Um, but she's settling into the house really nicely. Um, working on house manners, just staying on a place command when there's other dogs and distractions going on. So yeah, hope you guys have a good weekend and you aren't missing this girl too much. She has been a really, really fun dog to have.